The ongoing stress, uncertainty and fear created by the COVID-19 pandemic has weighed heavily on our children and teens, and it's welling over into classrooms. The U.S. Surgeon General has declared the decline in youth mental health a national emergency. Now, Knox County Schools is trying to curb the crisis with a partnership helping thousands of students. And one mom tells me it saved her daughter's life. It went from having a stomach ache when it was time to go to school to full out panic attacks when we had to leave the house. Sarah Owens didn't know how to help her 12 year old daughter Abby after the pandemic hit. She would sob all day at school, which in turn led to bullying because she's the kid in class that cries all the time. She refused to eat in public. She refused to use the restroom in public. Sarah was pulling her out of class several times a week and spending hundreds of dollars on therapy that wasn't working. Abby missed more than a month of school, failing nearly every class as her symptoms spiraled out of control. After so many doctor's visits, I'm like, there's physically nothing wrong with her. In the middle of it all, Abby's family moved to Knoxville, where she started a new school. That's when an observant guidance counselor picked up on her behavior. Abby was put on a referral list to meet with a mental health liaison through a partnership between Knox County Schools and the Helen Ross McNabb Center. Master's level mental health counselors give students extra support, covering all middle and high schools and offering services at 15 elementary schools. The program has served nearly 2,600 students since it launched in 2018. This is just really a way to access treatment more efficiently and for us to be able to respond and assist the school system. I saw an immediate change in her after three counseling sessions with the counselor. It was like a light bulb went off. Abby was able to meet with her liaison after hours and continued sessions via telehealth through summer break. Now she's a straight A student. It's such a relief to know that your child has a safe space where they can go and talk about these things and you can you can address them. You can fix them at that point. She's so just a completely different kid and um, we just wouldn't be here today without them. Now, earlier this year, the McNabb Center received a $1.1 million grant to create three crisis response teams for children in our area experiencing mental health crisis. The school based team helps with crisis intervention and when necessary, uses mobile crisis units. The McNabb Center mobile crisis unit is available 24 hours a day. You can call the number here on your screen. We also have a list of resources right now at WBIR.com. It's really making a difference. You know, this has been in schools for a few years, but they've now served so many children and the children can get after school hour help and they can get help on telehealth and it's great. And all this week we are doing stories on youth mental mm -hmm. health. It's a crisis and we wanted to make sure to show you the resources in our community and how they're helping. Well, new this morning, a new